Now you must face what lurks in the dark below. Alright fellas, what is up? How you all doing? I hope you've all had an awesome week so far. And it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. I think it's been about three or four days. But I have been posting up a few guides from when I last did a commentary up until now. So be sure to go check those out if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But anyway, you guys have seen some Destiny Dark Below gameplay. And oh my goodness guys, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. But I guess you could just call me a Destiny fanboy. But I really am loving it. Look at that creature man. The Will of Crota screaming at your way fighting it. That's creepy as hell and I love it. I love shit like that. And the main reason why I'm loving Dark Below is just because it's new stuff to do on Destiny. Because you guys all know how much I love Destiny. I always go on about how much I love it and how much I love the grind. The grind is real, boys and girls. It really is, but I love it. And this just adds more stuff to do. It really does. And I reckon if they launched Destiny like with the Dark Below in it, it probably would have done a lot better. Because this DLC, or expansion pack, I should say, it's actually it's really good, guys. It really is. And that's what I want to get onto you guys in this video about. What is that? That doesn't even make sense. What I want to get onto you guys about. What I want to talk to you guys about. There we go. That makes more sense. What I want to talk to you guys about in this video is my... It's kind of a mix of my first impressions and basically what I'm going to be uploading during the next couple of weeks. So let's get started. Look at this Nightman Beast. Look at it. Almost takes me out. Love it. Blade of Crota. That thing's sick, man. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things. If you kill it, you actually get its sword and you can tear some shit up with that. It's pretty beast. Man, this game's fun. Oh, pick up the relic. Look at this running around with the sword. I've got that nice raid cloak. I actually got that out of a chest. I'll just like looted a chest and it gave me the raid cloak for my hunter. It's pretty sick guys and I got a nice God of War shade. It looks pretty nice as well. But anyway, my first impressions of the Dark Below is pretty much what I mentioned at, at the start of the video. It's just more stuff to do. And that's what Destiny needs, is more content. Because that's kind of where, if you look back to Titanfall, that's kind of where that failed. It didn't have enough content to really keep people interested. But you know, I still love Titanfall and it's an awesome game, but that's kind of what Destiny is. It just needs a bit more content, a bit more stuff to do, and it'll be even better. And I don't know if you guys heard this, but Destiny is a contender for Game of the Year. And I think it might have actually got it. I don't know what the gaming community thinks about that. I mean, there's a lot of hate behind Destiny. It was like the most loved game, but like, the first week it came out, 500 million pre-orders, man. That's impressive, it really is. But then people just stopped playing it because they thought it was repetitive and boring. But yeah, some people have that opinion and they have the right to do that. But, but I still love Destiny and I love the grind. But oh man, I keep talking about the grind. You guys are thinking, what the hell's the grind? Especially you people who have never played Destiny before. What the hell's this kid on about? Well, I what I mean by the grind is grinding for gear, grinding for armor, upgrading weapons, upgrading armor, getting loot, getting ascendant energy, all that sort of stuff. That's the grind. And, and that's what keeps people playing Destiny to this day. It's just upgrading their gear because you're always getting rewarded for shit. Look at my hunter, man. Got my Prime Zealot gloves, some raid armor. Love it. Anyway, what I'm going to be uploading during the week is kind of a mix of my Halo guides. Seeing as, seeing as I'm on holidays now. Woo! I'm on holidays. Yay! I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands so I can really be uploading a lot more content for you guys. And I'll try. Do two videos a day. I'll try. But... Don't hold me to that guys because I do get quite busy during the day sometimes but I will try and do two videos a day. I'll try and do a commentary if I can and obviously a guide and I'll go back and forth from doing Destiny Dark Below guides. I've already got a few ideas for that and my Halo Master Chief Collection guides which I'm still enjoying doing. And yeah my overall first impressions of Dark Below is it's really awesome guys. It really is. I love it. It just adds more stuff to do and it's a lot more fun stuff especially the music and the audio in these missions man. I, I bet some of you guys are thinking, who the hell cares about the audio? But audio is something that Bungie is really well known for, doing amazing audios in their game. We've all played the Halo games and we know how awesome they are with the audio. But that's something awesome about this game. So yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.